Dance. You're listening to The Robert Elm Show on BBC London 94.9 FM. And the smoke is about to return to London. Don't forget, this is always known as the big smoke, because once it was the foggiest, smoggiest city in the world. Well, we've stopped all that now. We're all nice and clean. But not for three nights we won't be. Because between from Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, 8th to the 10th of October, Trafalgar Square will become the big smoke again. And it's all because of the memory cloud. This is an art installation by an artist called Theo Spiropoulos, who's here with us now. Theo, welcome to BBC London. Thanks for having me, Ron. Um, so, people go along to Trafalgar Square next week. What are they going to see? Well, basically what they're going to see is we're going to try to create an artificial cloud, which is basically going to be um, content driven by the people. We're trying to create an ephemeral structure where people can kind of participate and interact with each other. So are these like smoke signals? Yeah, it's basically we're fusing a 5,000-year-old ancient communication which was visual which one one i always assume you know from cowboy films is to do with with american indians or yeah, native american Americans. indians with carpets and little plumes of smoke <laughs> right. and basically we're going to graft onto that messages that people the public is going to send through through text messaging so we're trying to create a space between kind of very ancient communication and very contemporary communication and allow the people to kind of interact with each other. So people will be able to send you messages via via mobile phones, yeah. and then those will become smoke messages in the sky via carpets and, <laughs> and, and fires or yeah, something of that yeah, sort. Basically, they're going to be projected. They're going to be sort of animated. It sort of animates the space as well. And Trafalgar Square will sort of become sort of spatialized with basically the text and the words and the thoughts of the, the people that are there. So we're trying to create a diary for each day. We're going to archive all of the things and it'll be put on memorycloud.com so people could actually see, you know, this kind of collective evolving text. So is this something you've done in other cities? Or? Well, we originally did it in Suffolk in an old airbase about <laughs> right. two years ago uh, for the electronic festival. And um, last year we did it in Bristol, um, basically in, in outside of the watershed in the public space there. Um, so it's, it's a tried and trusted technology. It works. Uh, technology works, but it's very site-specific. I mean, doing it in Trafalgar Square, I think, is very particular. The context gets animated. Trafalgar Square is a quite public... Very big. Very it's a big, public, large public space, yeah. It's a public space, but it's also a space where people really have a voice, and it's a very open space where both tourists and people here actually express themselves. So we're trying to take that on board as part of the artistic platform. Where they are actually the, uh, you know, they're the artists, really. If you if you're walking through you know, Trafalgar Square and you don't know anything about uh, Memory Cloud, will you be aware that it's happening? Yeah, it's it's pretty visual in terms of a spectacle, but in terms of uh, we'll have signage there and we'll also be giving out distributing cards to people so they can have the number and they could participate. So it's really for the public. I mean, it's not just uh, an art piece. So people stumbling onto it. We'll be encouraged to participate if they'd like. We'll give them the information there and with the number, and they'll be able to uh, participate. And when will this be happening? Is it at night? Is it more it's visible a, at night? Or? It's at night. It's it's night based. It starts at seven o'clock, right. and we'll wrap it up around nine thirty each night. So on the seventh, eighth, and ninth, uh, sorry, the eighth, ninth, and tenth, um, we'll be running it. So. If people want to get more information about this so that they can be kind of prepared and all of that, where's a good place to do that? Sure. There's a website that we've set up. I mean, they can go to the ICA website. It's listed um, under Live and Media Arts. But also there's a website for the project. It's www.memorycloud.com where they'll find the number and actually the general background information about the project and what they're participating with. And what the, is it? What are the actual clouds made of is it i mean because obviously you know smoke signals one assumes are made of smoke what what are your memory clouds made of yeah they they are basically made of smoke it's it's not a toxic smoke or anything it's a it's, it's a, a nice clean smoke <laughs> it's a water based smoke so it's not anything that people have to worry about and basically it's going to be projected onto it's kind of like in club environments and so forth and it's a similar stuff um, so there's no mirrors involved. It's not smoke and mirrors. There's no smoke and mirrors. It's, <laughs> it's smoke and light. Smoke and light coming together to form Memory Cloud at Trafalgar Square next week. That's Wednesday, the 8th to Friday, the 10th of October. Thea, thank you very much. Thank you very much. He went away and you